Okay, let's try this again. I say again because uh, my screen recorder crashed on an earlier attempt uh, at, uh, at making this video. So I'm testing my patience here. Okay, now this is project three that we're going to be working on. Um, actually, it's the final project uh, in the class. Uh, so we're going to be, uh, you know, I want you to take your time with it and, uh, you know, do your best, of course. Uh, there's, there's still a few weeks left of class. Okay, now you can see here I have set up a, a template. And this uh, template is 27 inches wide by 40 inches tall. That means it's really big, uh, which hopefully won't uh, bog things down too much. Um, but, uh, but we'll see. Okay, uh, let's uh, go ahead and take a look at the uh, specs uh, for the... Um, the assignment now some of the stuff I've already done in a uh, a, a previous uh, previous video so we, we won't be covering that it's just the small stuff like setting up the uh, template and things like that and looking for artwork okay for this final project we will create a movie poster for a fictitious film of your choice using copyright free photographs from unsplash or Google if you use the reuse of modification uh, setting so on yeah you will employ advanced co compositing techniques uh, described in lesson nine of Adobe Photoshop classroom in a book to create a realistic uh, photographic artwork that is appropriate for the subject matter. Okay, specification. Step one in uh, Adobe Photoshop, create a 300 PPI template that is the standard movie poster size. Um, sizes. Okay, I did have multiple sizes there. I thought I'd simplify it for you guys. Uh, just go with the one that's used nowadays, uh, which is 27 by 40. Okay, and that's what I have set up. Next is uh, we need to select one of the five movies found on the info on the uh, info sheet posted in uh, this week's uh, this week's uh, class page. So let's go ahead and take a look at that. Okay, now as it says over here, these are movies that do not exist. So uh, you know now some of them are based on books. Uh, one's based on a comic book character from the 1940s. <laughs> so uh, if you want to look up uh, the book or the uh, or the, the character to get kind of a visual, that's fine. Um, but anyway, you can you can deviate from it if you want. Okay. Uh, so what we've got here on each um, on each one of these movies is a title, a tagline, the name of at least two stars, a review, and a rating like you know PG, G, R, you know. Uh, your completed movie must include all these items. Sketch out some ideas based on the movie title and what you think it is about, and then use copyright-free resources uh, to begin collecting high-quality, high-resolution photos you'll be able to make into a composite. And I've already done the sketch and the um, and the composite, so I have a good idea of what I want to do. And then begin, begin compositing in the template, and that's what I'm uh, going to work on today. Also with this is a written assignment. Um, and this is due finals week. What I want you to do is compose a uh, one to two page typewritten paper, double space, explaining your thinking process and designing this poster. Okay, include any comments on your research and uh, include an explanation of your color font uh, and graphics, graphic and stylistic choices. Okay, pretty simple stuff, right? At least the written assignment part. All right, now, as far as like collecting imagery, uh, I mentioned Unsplash, and we've used Unsplash quite a bit in this course. And of course, there we are right there. I used it to collect some stuff, okay, that I'm going to use for this. Um, other items that I couldn't find on Unsplash, I used Google for. Now, the thing is with, uh, with using images from, you know, uh, online sources, one thing that you really want to watch out for is the copyright usage. Okay, so right now I've typed in lava because the thing that I'm going to do, I want to have it be kind of fiery and all that kind of stuff. Uh, so what you want to do is under tools, click on, well, first off, size. I like to go with large. Okay, so you don't have to mess with uh, as much playing around with the sizes. And then under usage rights, in this case, um, we can go with a label, label for a reuse with modification, okay? Um, because the thing is, you're going to be modifying these images that that uh, we're playing around with, that we're you know 
going to be creating stuff with. Okay, so that'll that'll cut down a lot of stuff. Okay, and uh, these are things that you are free to use if you modify it. Okay, uh, you know you could just also go with label for reuse, but that's going to cut down quite a lot, and so on and so forth. Okay, uh, now let's go back to our sheet here. You can see here we've got a fictional movie info sheet. Uh, we different genres. We've got a thriller uh, called Rudlow Manor, okay, starring uh, Kate Winslet and Keanu Reeves. Yeah, right. Uh, we've got action horror titled Etrigan, uh, starring uh, Nicholas Coster Waldo. He actually uh, was a guy that was in Game of Thrones. Uh, let's see, a romantic comedy. Uh, we've got a drama, which is actually based on a book. We've got a science fiction. Um, that is also sort of based on a book. There's an anime. For those of you that like anime features and want to, uh, you know, want to do something like that, this is just a fictitious film, uh, just something I made up that sounds a lot like um, every Miyazaki film I've ever seen. <laughs> and then there's finally a, um, oh, there we go. We crashed again. Screencast is... Uh, Gives me a hard time. Gives me these little notifications every once in a while. I hope it's still working. Uh, anyway, I thought it was going to crash. It didn't. And the last one here is a Marvel hero action flick. Okay. Um, and this one, this one's kind of a joke. But if you wanted to tackle it, go ahead. Uh, there was actually a comic character called the Wizard back in the 1940s. He used to fight alongside Captain America fighting Nazis. So uh, he, he dressed in a yellow jumpsuit. So if you want to, if you want to do a superhero thing, there you go. All right. Uh, for the one I'm going to do, uh, I'm going to stick with the action horror thing uh, and uh, start off with that. Okay. So I've got my, I've got my uh, template here, and I've got a bunch of. Um, items that I've sort of collected. Uh, I think the first thing I'm going to do, though, is uh, probably uh, open up... i to find it. Desktop. Open up some of these images and start putting them together. Okay. Uh, so, let's see. We're looking for a 235. And... Let's see, these are bunch of photographs that I've uh, that I've gathered that uh, I can possibly use okay now let's go ahead and open up this one here all I actually need from this is the eye so we'll open that now let's see I'm gonna open these three here okay and then, let's see. Oh, we need this. And let's see. I think these three here. And yes, that is Lady Gaga. Uh, and then finally, this guy here. The Game of Thrones guy. Okay. Now, uh, I need to go back to our untitled one. So I've got a lot of things open here, and uh, I need to figure out exactly how I'm going to set this up. I, I have an idea in my head, but I need to see if it's actually going to work. Uh, first things first, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in some, some black. I think I might, uh, yeah, I'll just do the whole thing. So we'll just, uh, just drop that in there. Okay. And there's our, there's our black backdrop right there. And then let's go ahead and grab this. Select all. We're going to copy it. And edit, paste. 
Now that was big, but this thing is really big. So we're going to have to do a free transform on this. All right. Let's put it right about there. I might have to resize this a little bit later on, but, uh, you know, for now, I think that will work. Let's go ahead and relabel this. Um, lava cave. Okay, I'm going to have to soften these edges and stuff too, uh, you know, because it's going to be for a black background. And uh, let's see. Next thing I'm going to need is one of these guys. This is that is just what it looks like. Um, the character of Etrigan is actually a uh, a character, a, a comic book character, a horror comic book character created by Jack Kirby in the 1970s. He's always been one of my favorites. So um, basically, what we're what I'm doing here is uh, I'm using a uh, an action figure from my collection that I had in storage. Because I needed a silhouette of the figure. So, getting creative here. All right, I'm going to need to use my mask to select this thing. Got all the bits and pieces. Yeah, I don't really want to get the uh, the screen from my studio or uh, anything like that. But, you know, the thing is, it's basically a silhouette, so it should look okay. Uh, should look okay once, uh, once I get them in place and kind of cleaned up a little bit. Let's see. And if I have to clean up the edges a little bit, I can do that later on. That's fine. Okay. That should do it. I'll switch over to uh, just our regular thing. And let's copy that. And I'm going to paste that as well. Again, pretty small, but not really a problem. That might be a little too big. All right, about there ought to do it. Now let's grab both of these and kind of move them over this way just a touch. Because, you know, you want to think about the, uh, you know, where your focal point is going to be. Think about that Fibonacci spiral that we use all the time. So what I'm going to use, what I'm going to do through this area up through here is that's where I'm going to have the, uh, the whole stack of faces. Okay, so let's go ahead and rename this layer. Uh, enter again. There we go. And that's going to be the, yeah, like, remember the Fibonacci spiral. We're going to have the different face of the stars through here. And this is going to be the, the focal point going by the rule of thirds. Okay. Again, we're just, right now, we're just kind of plopping those little things in there, here and there. I have to clean up the edges, edges later on. Now, uh, let's go back to this character right here. Um, what um let's close out some of the stuff that we're done using um what i needed this character for oddly enough was uh was the just the eyes 
So, uh, because uh, I've got this uh, this metal mask here that I want to use. Um, there's a there's a you know I just want something to be kind of spooky and scary in the in the uh, in the background, and I thought this uh, this metallic mask kind of fit the bill. Um, but I want some eyes peering out of it. Okay, so I think this is about this is about right. Um, I might have to tilt the head a little bit or tilt the mask one way or the other. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, grab this thing. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna take an ellipse and just I'm gonna maybe a little bit bigger. I'm just gonna take an ellipse and grab the whole thing and then I'll clean up the edges later on. So let's go ahead and uh, copy that. And let's uh, go ahead and uh, paste that on our thing. Now you're going to find that uh, because this is a such a large, because this is such a uh, large um, uh, project that you're going to have to resize stuff quite a bit. But you know the the, the 300 DPI should be just fine. Okay, so there's that. Uh, I think I might need to, for what I'm thinking, I might need to flip it over. Uh, but I think I'll wait on that until I get the uh, the eyes in there. So let's go ahead and kind of clean up this a little bit. Uh, we're going to grab, oh, that's tolerance is way too high for that kind of thing. So let's take it down to about 10, see what that does. That might be too little. We might need to, uh, yeah, we're just going to do this one by hand. Okay. So um, I'm going to pause this thing while I use my eraser tool to get rid of all this extra stuff. You don't need to watch that because it's really simple and straightforward. So let's go ahead and pause. I'll be back when this thing's clean. Okay, so picking up where we left off, I have uh, went ahead, gone through, and uh, if, you, if I turn the visibility off here, you can see that I got rid of all that extra stuff. That, uh, that I'd really need. Um, let's turn that back on there. Now let's see if the uh, the picture of the woman that we were going to use is going to actually work with this thing. So let's just grab what we need, like maybe that much right there. Copy that. Go back to our untitled here, and I'm going to click onto the layer under the mask and hit paste. So I'm putting these things in order right off. Okay, now let's go ahead and free transform that until we get to the right size. It's just about perfect. There we go actually aligning the eyes with the nostrils and everything else. That is just about right. Perfect. Okay. And pretty creepy too. I might have to adjust a little bit uh, when it comes to the uh, when it comes to lighting and stuff like that to make it truly believable, but that's that works pretty well. Okay. So let's go ahead and take out this little extra here that we don't need. And uh, I'm debating about whether or not I'm going to put those on the, uh, on the same layer or not. Uh, I think for now, let's see. Let's call that one face mask. And let's move these over just a little bit. Okay. Next, I think what we need to do. Actually, this might look better over here. So I'm thinking about that, that spiral thing. And what we need to do, really, is uh, we got, uh, there's, there's two people I want to have really um, stick out, like, up above here. And that's this guy here. Okay. Uh, this guy you might recognize from... Uh, from Game of Thrones. Uh, his name is Julian Glover. Okay, so let's grab him. 
we're going to be taking off a lot of this stuff too. Copy that. And let's go ahead and place that in here as well. Paste that. Transform. About the same size, maybe a little bit, a little bit smaller than the face and the mask. We're gonna have, I'm gonna have these things fade off quite a bit when it comes right down to it. This thing's gonna be practically in the darkness. Um, but again, this is a case where I need to clean up the background a little bit because I don't need all this stuff here. So. Let's go ahead and uh, take our tolerance back up to 32 uh, and get rid of what we can easily. Oh, that's pretty dark. Yeah, I'm going to need to uh, take the, take it back down again. About like that. Get rid of some of this stuff here. And again, I'm probably going to have to use the... Uh, yeah, we're going to have to use the eraser tool again to uh, to clean this stuff up. So, again, we'll pause. Okay, now you can see here that uh, I not only cleaned up the edges, but I decided to move things around a little bit. Uh, okay, now this line here is going to be faded off quite a bit when, it, you know, when I get right down to it. Right now, what I'm doing is I'm sort of, you know, figuring out what I want where. Okay. Um, I, I still have like a couple of uh, stars phases that I need to have in here. Uh, and uh, one of them is like the, the main guy in the movie. So need to figure that out. You know, how I'm going to place that in there. And that might actually solve my little problem here with this, with, with this edge. So you got to be thinking about stuff like that. Okay, there's the, this is the star of the thing um, in my imaginary movie. Um, one issue I'm going to have is the fact that his whole head isn't there, but that shouldn't be too much of a problem because it's all pretty much in darkness anyway. So let's just grab what we have and see if that'll work. So let's copy that because we can have this fade off and go back to our, go back to this and we'll paste. Okay. Again, kind of small. All right, so let's free transform that. Maybe I'll put it in somewhere along here. And then let that fade off or something like that. Yeah, I think something like that might work. Again, you want to have those that, uh, that, that stack of faces. Now, one thing I'm probably going to do, too, is uh, change the tone of a lot of this stuff as well. Okay, so we got that there, and uh, I think, yeah, something like that might work. Again, I need to, I need to fade off his his hair though. Um, I still have one more uh, person that if I'm going to have all the stars in there, it'd be the the Lady Gaga thing, and I don't know if there's going to be room for that or not. Okay, so um, I'm. That is the basic setup that I'm going to use. Um, I think, yeah, let's let's see if she can fit. All right. Uh, again, when you're doing this original sort of compositing, you don't have to be super uh, fussy with like the edges and stuff like that. You're just seeing what'll fit. So let's copy that and let's go ahead and we're going to put her way back here. And we'll paste. She's going to be pretty small, too. Um, but that's okay. A little bit bigger. And probably face, have her face the other way. So let's do that, too. Transform. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to want her in there or not. <laughs> Got to take some playing around, but uh, but we'll see. And one thing, too, uh, you'll notice that the, uh, the the coloring, all the photos are different. And that's going to change, too. Um, 
Yeah. Uh, but right now, okay, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to pause this uh, again, clean up some of these edges and start her back up again uh, once I have these things kind of composited the way I'm thinking of doing it. Okay? Hang on. I'll be right back. Wow. Compositing done. Uh, now what I need to do, and you can see that I've rearranged some things a little bit. If we zoom out all the way. Rearrange them a little bit, resize a few things, so I've got room enough for a title down here and uh, a tagline up here, stuff like that, okay? Uh, I also added some shadows in here to sort of painted those in so the silhouette fits in the cave a little bit better and, uh, you know, kind of shifted some things around. Uh, the main thing I need to do now is to have these different sort of... Um, variations and color sort of match up because right now they're completely different okay they're completely different and that's not really gonna that's not really gonna work so uh i think essentially what i need to do is take most of these things these faces that are surrounding this thing and put those on the same layer okay once i do that then i can readjust the uh the lighting and the color all at once Okay, so uh, let's go ahead and do that. Um, hopefully, I won't need to. Uh, I won't need to readjust these things. Uh, but you know, just to be safe, let's go ahead and save this. We'll do a save as real quick, uh, and we'll call this just uh, you know, enter again movie poster working or something like that. Uh, so let's see, R two thirty five. We'll save it as a. Uh, let's save it as a TIFF. I like TIFFs. are working uh, and let's just we'll, we'll give it the name too okay now uh, that way now that I have it saved if I need to revert back to this version where they're still on separate layers if I want to move something around I can still do that all right so let's take all these guys um, and you can see I've named all the uh, all of them, they're different characters. And I'm going to go Control E, and I'm going to I'm going to oh change the lighting up. That's okay. Uh, and I am going to uh, I forgot to take the lighting off of uh, Lady Gaga, but that's not a problem. I'm just going to name this just Cast. And now what I can do, since they're all like that, is I can um, take care of the saturation and stuff. So let's. Adjust, uh, let's see. Uh, let's adjust our hue and saturation. Let's see how it looks desaturated. Okay. That evens that out quite a lot. And we can also play with the hue a little bit to get a different tone. Now we got these oranges here, so let's see. Almost kind of that horror movie green, you know. Actually, if you don't get too green, it'd be too much. Not too much. But notice how the it, the coloration starting to balance out a little bit so they look like they belong in the same thing, okay? So that's a little less saturation. We can also darken these in a little bit too if we want. We don't want to go too much though. There. I think that is starting to work okay so we'll click OK all right and there is our basic composite I'm almost at 30 minutes right now uh, so I think that will probably be it uh, for this uh, for this video uh, I'll uh, I'll continue on with adding different parts uh, title and uh, all that stuff uh, in in the in the next video or two okay but I think for now just getting the basic uh, basic composite done.
pretty much worked. All right, I'll talk to you guys next time.